Hello, World of Warcraft players. Today I'm going to talk about an easy way to get a ton of leather through skinning in Stormheim. As you can see, I have accrued over 13 stacks of leather. And it was all done by gathering a massive bunch of mobs in Stormheim and killing them all. In Stormheim, there is a secret little cove at the top of your map. It's a few clicks northwest of the spot where you can get the temporary mounts. And in this little secret cove, you can find a bunch of little ravens there stacked together. Now, if you can take a whole lot of damage and have a good enough range attack to pull these ravens, because they're all flying above your head, then you have a good chance of getting a ton of leather through skinning. As you can see, I'm doing fairly well with my demon hunter and uh, keeping myself alive, and as well as pulling the mobs. You have a nice little attack there with the glaive toss. It hits multiple targets at once. There's also a few crabs down there where you can get storm scales. Don't try to pull more than you can handle, because I, I did that and I died a few times, so... Take advantage of this cove while you can, because the more players I find out about it, the more crowd it's going to get, and the harder it is to get leather. I would recommend doing this while you're leveling, because you get a ton of XP. And with a scaling system, it really doesn't matter what level you are. This is just one of many great spots to find a cluster of mobs that you can farm and skin. And don't worry, I'll show you the other spot I also farm for leather here shortly. Another great feature of the spot is that these ravens spawn really quickly, so you can find them all day long. I really love how Blizzard kind of put this spot off in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there really is no real reason to go down here. I kind of stumbled upon it myself after I fell off the cliff accidentally. After you've had your fill of ravens, there is another great spot in Stormheim I'll show you right now. Uh, you just follow this little secret passageway up here, up the cliff here. It takes you to the spot where you can get these little temporary mounts. There is also a dragon you can fight that gives you a temporary flying mount. But do not try to fly the dragon over the lake to that island or else it will drop you. I figured that out the hard way. All of these beasts in this area here you can fight and once you beat them they'll, give, they'll allow you to ride them or mount them for a little bit. This is also where you'll find the dragon. He's just up here. Um, he's level 110 so I would not try to fight him or else he'll kill you. But as you can see, all these beasts out here will let you mount them once you get their health low enough. There's really no point in trying to fight him, because as you can see, I can't even hit him with my glade toss. Moving on, now I'm going to take you to the other location. You can find a bunch of mobs clustered together that you can farm for stone hide leather. There's also a bunch of storm drakes around here that you can farm for their storm scales. It's really not that far from the cove where you find the ravens. I really love leveling in Stormheim. It's got such a unique landscape. In the quest line, I have a pretty awesome story. The spot we're headed to is just south of the Cove of Nashua, or however you pronounce that. And here are the Storm Drakes. You can farm for the Storm Scales. They're really not that hard to kill. You can easily take three or four at a time. However, I feel Death Knights are kind of OP, so you might want to go at your own risk with a different class. I just gotta say, Blizzard really outdid themselves with these dragons. They're so much cooler than the other dragons in Azeroth. Moving on. The spot we're headed to is just around the bin here. You gotta be careful coming over here because it flags you for PvP. You always gotta be careful in a PvP area because there's always players looking for an easy gank. A low level like myself wouldn't stand a chance against the high levels that are doing the world quest here. Moving on. And finally, we're at the area I've been talking so much about. It's unbelievable that there's so many wolves here clustered in one spot. It's so easy to farm them. Although, they do a ton of damage in a pack. As they say, a wolf is only as strong as its pack. Up the corner here, there's more storm drakes you can farm storm scale off of. Storm drakes don't wake up as easily as wolves do, that's for sure. You literally gotta jump on them to wake them up. They're definitely not as crowded as wolves either. Or ravens for that matter. It kinda looks like you have a two-headed dragon there. I'm gonna pull up the map here and show you exactly where I'm at. This is definitely an easy way to level up your level working and get some experience at the same time. And you get a ton of leather as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or concerns or even other tips, feel free to comment below. If you find it beneficial, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Hopefully we will be coming out with more videos daily. 
So stop by our channel and check them out. I wish you a good day in the world of Warcraft.